Hi everyone, we're playing Warframe once again, and we're doing the Silver Grove. So now we're collecting Rux Claw, which is for the Twilight Apothic Elixir. And on the top left there you can see there's two locations where you can um, scan the Rux Claw. So Ara on Mars, and also Hellas on Mars, but we're going to Ara. Here to find our target and bring them to the extraction point. Happy hunting. So we need six of these. Now the Warframe wiki says that they, they grow in damp areas shaded from the sun. And they'll also grow in the desert areas of Ara, directly in sunlight, so in the sunlight, out of the sunlight. I guess that means anywhere really. So we've got one already. We cannot let our target know we're here. Track them quickly. So Ara is a capture mission, so it's not too difficult. Target located. Bring mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. There's another plant here behind the wall. Alright, so we got two that time. Okay, let's do another run. Here's the uh, third one. one over here. That's four. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. So I just need two more. Alright, we've got everything we need. Okay, so the next plant that we need is the Lunar Pitcher. So on the top left you can see this comes from only one place, Lua, Copernicus. This is level 25 to 30, capture mission. You can see what it looks like on the top right there. So this plant, um, you quite often find it in the little loot rooms and also on the lunar soil. We received intel that somebody vital to enemy operations is here. Find them and capture them. Corpus have tech weapons. We'll need to be careful. The loot room here. Yep, there's one right there. Another one. So 
that's two down. So we need six of these as well. The capture has vital information that we will need to extract. We need our subject back alive. Another loot room. There's a lunar pitcher right there. That's three. Frame fighter. Oh, there's four. See these little loot rooms are really good. Keep going. Nobody knows you're here. Target located. Bring them in. There's a capture target. Mission right. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. up here. Like everybody's turned up. <laughs> and they're all looking for lunar pitches. Tell you it's mine. Okay. Heading towards the exit now, just keep my eyes open. Especially these kind of areas where the soil's exposed. There's one down the back here. Okay, heading back to the exit.
a loot room here. A new rat. New rats are always welcome. My war frame is strong. Hmm, no picture plants. Been through there. Another loot room back here. Yep, there we go. That's everything we need now. There's one right next to the uh, exit point. Pretty handy. What about up here? Nope. Okay, we're done. So we ate those that time. Must hurry, Tenno. Grenier fires burn ever closer to the shrine. The Silver Grove. In all the operator's missions on Earth, Ordis has not scanned an area quite so magical. Unique. Ah, lunar pitcher. A flower that thrives on moonlight, but alas, without any moon, we feared one extinct long ago. We've searched everywhere on Earth for it. Where else would it grow? Well, we've got that one already. So the next one we need is the Moonlight Jade Leaf, which uh, we can find here on Earth. E Prime, Mantle or Cervantes? So I'm going back to E Prime. Because it's probably the easiest of the three. And on the top right you can see what the moonlight jade leaf looks like. There is a large platoon of Grenier Marines stationed here. Leave no one standing. So you have to be in the night cycle for this one. Mike, we have to win this. Oh, there's one down there, the bottom of the waterfall. Let's bug out. I'll come back and do another one to get the uh, second jade leaf. You can see I've swapped to the atlas as well, which is uh, the next warframe I got. Okay, back into E prime. So 
So the Atlas Warframe I got from the Jordis Precept, so you can check out my um, videos on the Jordis Precept to how to get the Atlas. There is a large platoon of being stationed here. Leave no one standing. There's one over here. And a soma cord. Oh, frame fighter as well. Okay, so we've got all the moonlight jade leaves that we need. So I think if we have all the plants that we need to build the uh, Twilight Apothic now. So let's get out of here. Okay, so that's our second Moonlight Jade Leaf. Ah, I got a login reward. Affinity Booster, that's pretty cool. Earth's oldest forest is populated with the first trees that evolved a resistance to the Orokin bondage. The rest of Earth is polluted with the monstrosities of their genetic tinkering. But these trees are pure. When we finally recede Earth, it will be with these specimens. Okay, that's the end of this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Orders have not scanned an area quite so magical, unique. Mm -hmm.